actually, I should I should say, we we played this match already. It did not record. I am still salty. This is a revenge match. I say revenge match. Um, it was scripted like a wrestling match. I got a combo win, and then yeah, I'm, I'm gonna mulligan this. By the way, I got a combo win, and then. <laughs> I called, I'm going to get the control win, and I ended up getting it. I called the card that got me the game. So, I'm... I'm not happy that that one did not get recorded. There's no way that this one can be as magical, even with the sliver mat. It was a six lane hand, by the way, so... I don't, I don't think that's where I want to be. Probably not. Here we go. Point. See what six and a half brings me? Alright. And yes, that's an energy counter. That's Oh, it's not blue mana, it's an energy counter. That's important to specify, I suppose. Alright, I will keep. Let me get my scry on real quick. Hey. Hey there. Hey there. Sadly, you get pushed to the bottom. I would like to start off with a Cavern on Slivers. Gee, I wonder what I'm playing. Striking Sliver. Gee, I wonder what I'm playing. And then pass the turn, my friend. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I know that Merfolk is a thing in Vintage. I wonder if Slivers could be. Ooh, okay. Well, you only have two targets. Can't take the lands. It's Hive and Hub. You can, however, elect to take either Jim Hyde Sliver or Dormant Sliver. Yep, okay, so the first time that he uh, played this, he ended up taking... I don't mean this to sound rude, you ended up taking the wrong one. It was Double Firewake, Sentinel, and Dormant Sliver. And you took one of the Firewakes, which, if I were on the aggro plan, would be fine. Especially if you had more removal for it, but... Now that you know the combo and how it goes off, you're not going to make that mistake again. Now you know. Alright. Well. Ether Hub. I have an energy. Yay! That'll work. There we go. Here we are. Let me do this. A. However we're doing it. Something like, you know, I don't even need the energy counter. <laughs> I can just put it on the hub. That's effectively all that matters. Uh, and then I'll play a sinew sliver and swing for two. That's it. Pass turn. Can the camera... Yeah, it's showing up. Just a bit. Ooh. Bitter Blossom is good. Good. I think I can outrace that. In case I didn't tap the hub, I didn't use it for anything else anyway, but I was supposed to tap the hub. Alright. You know, since I'm not using the energy counter... No, it's good. Hmm. Sliver Hive. Let's see. And I'll just bring these over here. They all do the same thing. <laughs> they all make all of the mana. All of the mana. Alright. I don't think I need to do it that way. But we can. But we can. Alright. You two. For Jim Hyde Sliver. And then one, two, three. Because Jim Hyde Sliver is letting them tap for mana now. Firewake Sliver, which gives haste and can sack stuff for plus two, plus two, till end of turn. And then, I will swing at you for four, because haste. Alright, and then pass turn. In before I get wrecked. Alright, and you already, yeah, you already took your one. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. Two from Thought Seize, two from Striking, four here. So we're, we're good. We're set. So this deck wins in three ways. Aggro, combo, and control. And here's mm -hmm. aggro. In before Wrath of God or Damnation off the top. Alright. 
Come on. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I think that's probably the better play. I can go one, two, three, six. Oh no, that's that's janky. That's janky. And yet, if he does have a wrath, that's the better way to do it. So that's actually what I'm going to end up doing. We're going to tap you lot, and we're going to use Sliver Hive's ability to make a sliver. This mm -hmm. is a sliver. I would like to go to combat. Mm -hmm. Swing four. Lock the red one. Yep. All right. Put you a nine. Pass turn. A. There it is. I'm glad I did it that way. And you'll see why in a second. Go ahead. Whee! Alright. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Because it allowed me to protect a sliver in my hand instead of running it out into a wrath. Pass turn. Blip. Was I supposed to be at 19 from an attack from the fairy rogue? No. Okay. Because there was a wrath being cast. I didn't know if there was an attack first. I have been gotten from that before. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Eat it. Hmm. Alright. Has to be you. Go ahead. Alright. Sentinel Sliver. Going after Liliana. Alright. Pass turn. Okay. Getting there. Getting there. Not quickly enough. Ghost Quarter. Oh, uh oh. Elspeth. She's a thing. She is a thing. Yeah. Not quite on time. Even playing the striking slip, holding the striking sliver back, I still probably gonna lose this one. Alright. I got. It. You got it. Are they right? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Um, flavor! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Two. Nothing up my sleeve. Do I, oh, I wasn't supposed to be discarded. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not going to try. What can save me at this point? Alright. Combat? Mm hmm. Alright, just blocking one each? Mm hmm. Okay. I have another! Wing! There we are. And then I'll pass turn. Yep. Early hit a five. I don't think Bitter Blossom is going to win the game for me. I have a sneaking suspicion it's going to be a little too slow. Sneaking suspicion. More tokens. All of the tokens. Let me just, here, I got you. Where'd that die run off to? That white die we got? I know it matters because, you know, tapped or untapped. Uh, summoning sick or not summoning sick, rather. Well, come on, Jay. 
There we go. Whee! Okay. Yep. Sentinel will be gone. Ooh, he's dead, Jim. He's dead, Jim. That'd be at 18. Good. Necrotic sliver. This is Vindicate sliver. Pass turn. Put you to four. It's a joke. It's a joke. But I don't have the mana to pop it now. Otherwise, I would have done it early enough to deal with Elspeth. And Jim Hyde would be really nice for that. When you get really late game, you can live the dream with Sliver Hive, Jim Hyde, Jim Hyde, or Mana Web, of course, which is strictly better and uh, necrotic, and you can just sack the token to vindicate something every turn mm -hmm. when you just have all the mana. If you're thinking, why don't you just attack instead, the answer is sometimes Dormant Sliver won't let you. I mean, gotta block one of the one ones. Mm -hmm. Take Second five, go to nine. 13. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, which one is that? Push. Yep. Morbid is indeed on. Alright, that's turn. Yep. Not morbid, revolt. <laughs> In this case, yeah, both. Hmm. Firewipe sliver. Hmm. There's no point in attacking, I think. Oh, I'm dead no matter what. Okay, that's conceived. Because all he has to do is pop the Elspeth here. Emblem, plus two, plus two flying. Yep, I can see the writing on the wall. This is going to go very differently than the game that did not re get recorded. I'm salty about that. I am so stinking salty about that. Ah, you missed the beauty that was that last game! Oh, it was gorgeous. I say gorgeous. Um, getting oppositioned in modern actually probably wasn't, but it felt like it to me. It's a funny thing that Popper Slivers gets to run more lords than modern slivers. Muscle, predatory, and sinew, but muscle isn't modern legal. But they're all commons. <laughs> Life's crazy sometimes. I never actually drafted M14, at least not as far as... No, I don't think I did. I can go back and check to make sure, but I think I would have remembered Slivers being all over the place. I would have been the guy to try to do it. Try to make Slivers a thing. So I would like to be on the play. Mm -hmm. We can keep this hand. It is not terrible. <laughs> that is the main criteria. It is not terrible. All right. Ooh, okay, now now it's your turn to mulligan. So while he's doing that, let me uh, show what I have going on real quick. All right, so I'm actually putting it in play order. This is a thing. <laughs> I mean, there are a few that actually care. Uh, and then into you, and this gets silly. And with you, just in case I need it. I don't know how long these will make it, but if we if we get there, man, we get there. Good God, we get there. Whew! Alright. So, there we are. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, 38 creatures in this deck. Let's do it. And by the way, I, I will say, there is... Well, you already know. This is something that we discovered on the last game. There ought to be one 
at least one basic land in the deck. Partially because of Blood Moon, but not really. This is a five color deck, we're just gonna lose to Blood Moon anyway. Partially because of Path mm. to Exile, not and, and Ghost Quarter, not just turning into better swords to plow shares and strip mine respectively. But this is an experimental list, and I'm trying it this way. Um, basically to see how consistent it is with all its colors. You're good? Mm -hmm. I will go unclaimed territory into obviously slivers. It's gonna be stupid and say like Lurgoy for something. This is Flying Sliver. Uh, I'll describe them, it's Gale Rider, but I describe them by their abilities. And then I'll pass turn. Flying Sliver? Yep. Ooh. Ooh, okay. How about... So, Ether Hub, Gem Hide Sliver, Necrotic Sliver, Telekinetic Sliver, Homing Sliver. Mana, Vindicate, Opposition, anything. <laughs> anything above and then some. Wild card sliver. There we go. I think that's my favorite way to describe it. Yeah. Right, so in the meantime, stretch. Ooh. Now the life total does matter, so we'll take the phone off the charger. We are at... There we are. Something like that. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Jim hide. Jim hide down. So if I don't find more mana, ooh, mmm, okay, that's fine. Alright. And you can look through my deck again if you want. Last time you did this, where you went turn one, actually he did that last game too, he did that last game! He went turn one, thought sees, turn two, or turn one, surgical, but that time he hit predatory sliver. Uh, there are four, so let me find them here real quick. And this, by the way, is why you're supposed to diversify with Mana Weft and Gem Hide, even though they are, um, for, unless you're in the Sliver Mirror, they're functionally the same. Actually, there aren't four in here. I took, how many did I take out? Let me check the sideboard real quick. I took two out. Okay, so cool. There are the other two. And if you want to, just for the lulls, you can look through it again. No. All right, cool. <laughs> just for ten lulls. Alright. You got me. No mana shenanigans. It is a little awkward having copies there. Um, they're redundant. That's uh, Once you have one out, the second one doesn't do anything extra other than provide a 1-1 one, one body. So, ideally this would be one mana weft, one gem hide, and if you had surgical there, you would have gotten gotten because there would only have been one in the deck. One gym hide stays in, one mana wefts stays in. But, because I didn't build it that way, I didn't put mana wefts in, I just haven't gotten around to doing it, I take two out. And the reason there, you would only get one, by the way, is I'd have one mana, or two mana weft, two gym hide in the deck, and then you know, take one of each out when I'm sideboarding. Okay. That's the thing. Energy, energy, minergy. Right. Hiya! <laughs> Just the one. Just the one. Pass turn. Ooh. There it is. Okay. Bitter Blossom again. Okay. This is actually a little interesting. Um, I'm a little worried about the Bitter Blossom. Hmm. Tendo Ice Bridge. Also known as Ether Hub for the purpose of this deck. <laughs> it's basically the same thing. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 
Normally, I could hold up mana to go homing sliver into mana weft sliver and start making a bunch of mana. Right now, that's not really much of a thing. So, uh, given that, Hmm. Swing one. I'll use up the energy counter. I have an necrotic sliver. And then I'll pass the turn. Did you already ping yourself? Boop. There we go. Lucky number 13. Triska Decophobia confirmed. Triska Decophobia. Alright. Ooh. Just Liliana. That's easy. Although, as to what I sack, that's a little trickier. Or what I sack to kill. Hmm. Well, let's see what the top of the deck provides. That's a thing. That is a thing. It's another Tendo Ice Bridge. I'm just going to share a counter between them. Just like that. Or just do this. There we go. Hmm. You are colorless. You go over here. Combat? Mm-hmm. Alright. Kills it. 2-2. Two, two. Hmm. Hmm. Tricky. I think I'm supposed to play telekinetic here. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Even though... If I leave that Bitter Blossom out, Bitter Blossom beats Telekinetic Sliver. Because of how many permanents you get. Um, but... Liliana can't do her thing yet. It's harder to deal with the Telekinetic because you have to turn on Revolt first for Fatal Push. Um, and then there's you. You also do something. Or I could drop the necrotic now to deal with one of them. Whichever one. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, decisions, decisions. And you're a 2 2 as well. I think... I think I actually can beat Bitter Blossom, so... I'm not using a counter. In that case, we'll do it this way. You have one card in hand, right? No, you have two. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah. I can actually get another Necrotic Sliver if I have to, so... But I can deal with you through combat damage, and I can't deal with you through that. Let's see. Is Liliana going to make me discard? Oh, I love all of these, though. Yeah, we, we can beat Bitter Blossom. Liliana be dead. And then pass turn. Insert another Liliana here. That would be my luck. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Hi, Soren. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, vampire. Okay. 
a little worried about Ally of Zendikar for a second. There is no doubt in my mind have to do this. Telekinetic is down past turn. <clears throat> okay. Yep. So if I can, basically if I can stall the game for long enough, I can actually kill him with his own Bitter Blossom. With Telekinetic. If we can get there. Yep. Go to combat? Yep. Kekate Koi. Five? Yep. Hit me for five. So he gains... He gains five. I still can do it with Bitter Blossom, just because Opposition is such a stupid card. But... It's not easy. Go ahead. Okay. Wait a minute. Did you guys... Oh, no, no. You don't gain flying. You just gain lifelink. But They're you have flying on your own. Both of them already have flying. flying. You okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. This is the way you said that. Alright. Alright. Then we'll use another counter. Running kind of low on those. We have a sinew sliver. Pass turn. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen my final form. <laughs> Ooh. Just throw one card off the table. That'll do it. Sorry. Where did that thing run off to? It was one of your lands, right? Oh, the cat's a little, little afferred. Afferred. Ooh, Elspeth. Okay. Yeah, we are actually about to outrace opposition here. If I'm not careful. It'd be nice to find a fire wake. That would help a lot. Alright, fair enough. Going up. Uh, I'd like to move to combat. Well, before you do, Telekinetic Slipper would like to have a word with that vampire. Just that one? Just that one, unfortunately. No haste, so can't can't do with you guys. Okay. Yeah. Swing for four. Alright. <laughs> we could have just done that, actually. Alright. Here we go. I'm hoping this is where it starts to get... A little abrasive. That may not quite be the word for it. Ooh. Uh, this is fine. Ooh. Whoa, 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 not that one. Oh my god. Oh my god, Jay. You gotta be more careful. Yep. Had to do it that way. Alright, Dormant Sliver, draw a card. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Pass turn. Hmm. Which plus are we using? Make another dude? Alright. Make another dude is good in the face of opposition. Another bitter blossom. Okay. We're gonna overload opposition here. We're gonna overload opposition here. 
I got you, bro. Alright. Plus. Alright. Like Before we go to combat, you and two of you. Okay. Which well, I guess we'll just do. Three on there. Yeah, one. three on there. Easy enough. And for four. Alright. Um, they. That one does not fly, but it's a 2-1. Yeah, we're going to block here, because it's a 3-3 three, three meeting a 2-1. Mm -hmm. And I'll still take 2, though. Mm -hmm. Alright, what do you say? Go ahead. Alright. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Not helping. Not quite what I needed. Okay. Every sliver in my hand has sliver cycling three. Every sliver in my hand has sliver cycling three. We're gonna sliver cycle this telekinetic sliver. Go get another one. Going to play a Gale Rider sliver. Mm -hmm. Draw a card, but let me shuffle first. That is how that works. Okay, so now they might actually stand a chance in the air a little bit, just a mite. Boink. And by they, I mean you, Gale Rider. No, where's where's some land? Come on, give me some land. Anywhere in here would be nice. Ah, uh, but alas, alas. Pass turn. It doesn't matter for the purpose of color, but for the sake of theming, I'm doing them this way. It still only makes colorless mana, either way. <laughs> I just want all my ice bridges to be tapped instead. Alright. Move to combat. Alright. Before you do, you are going to tap down this one. Mm -hmm. And as for the rest of you lot, mm. well, as for the rest of you, come at me, bro. Two sources, yeah. eight, ten, twelve, fourteen total. Yeah. I'm not dying, but it's not gonna it's not gonna be pretty. Alright. So we're actually gonna be able to eat a few of these. Not sure how much it matters. I don't want to do you because you don't have flying on your own, so I'm least threatened by you. But now that all of mine have taken to the skies, I can do... I can deal with two of the spirits, the two spirits, one of you, and I haven't I haven't finished just yet, I, I still have a chance to do something with Gale Rider, but Gale Rider, you're a little unique because if you go down, yeah. I mean, I'm going to 30 either way. Yeah. Yeah. So if I let this through, I go to 1. Because I'll be taking 8 here. So 
see, what's the rest of my hand look like? Well, with dormant sliver, it's not like I can swing back anyway. Oh my god, this is not exactly how it went the last time we did this match. Not exactly. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Can sliver cycle these into... What's going to get me out of this pickle? What's going to get me out of this pickle? Firewake gym hide would be nice, but oh wait a second. Yeah, I'm gonna take it go to one. Mm -hmm. Alright. What do you say? Go ahead. You're all the same. To me. Oh no, you jerk. Okay, well, no. Sliver cycle. Mm -hmm. mm. no. We can't combo off this turn either. It's sad but true. It's going to have to do it, unfortunately. Rip T1. Because even if I get out a Lord, which I can cast here, this is six blockers versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah, that does not do it. If I had a source of life gain, if I had Siphon Sliver in the deck that I could go and get, then that would do it. I really wasn't expecting Sly Siphon Sliver. Actually, even then, Siphon wouldn't do the job because I'm a little shy on mana. Uh... Oh well. What else could I get? If I had a Striking Sliver in hand, that wouldn't be bad, because I could play something cheap, draw a card, land, striking, and that's still actually not going to quite get me there. Um, oh well. You got me. You got me. Just trying to make sure I didn't have something else I could do. Do you mind if we do one one more game real quick? Sure. Alright. I want to show the deck's potential. I'm actually, uh, with a friend of mine who's coming over tomorrow to practice some melee, I was going to try to make a proposal to him. There's a, a charity event that happens a couple times a year called Games Done Quick. The one that's done in the winter is Awesome Games Done Quick, then Summer Games Done Quick is obviously summer. And I was going to try to learn a game to speedrun at the charity event. Um, he and I both play Melee, and I like Project M. He's, he kind of likes it, not as much as Melee, though. And I was wanting to do a co-op speedrun of their version of the story mode in the game. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Um, I'll keep it. It's called the Subspace Emissary, and... Uh, I was hoping we could do a co-op run. We're already, you know, competitive enough that I think we could we could do it. We're not going to break any world records, but it's for charity. Yeah. And co-op runs, I don't think, see enough love in, uh, in events like these. There aren't that many games that have good co-op speed runs, let's say. Oh, okay, so we're going to... We're going to... Try. Oh, let me show the camera what's going on. Oh, we're not. I guess we're. I guess we're there. Boink, 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 boink. Or how? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna be a hand model. Sliver Hive Go. Right. I turn my hand upside down, knowing that's what he's going to do. So unclaimed, 
predatory, predatory, intruder alarm, necrotic sliver, firework sliver. So, Lord, Lord, you know what this thing does. For the audience that doesn't know, creatures don't untap during their un controller's untaps, but whenever a creature comes into play, untap all creatures. Guess which one of us is going to be breaking that synergy a little bit. Uh, and then Vindicate and Haste and plus two, plus two. What do you say? Ooh. Okay, that makes me think that there's another removal spell for the other lord. Which I guess I'm about to find out. Spoiler alert, unclaimed on slivers. We're gonna play predatory and then pass the turn and then it dies. Promptly. Maybe. Go ahead. Okay, maybe not. How's about we play another predatory sliver? Where is that surgical now? I would like to swing at you for three. Yeah, it's a little slow. And then I'll pass the turn. You're landlocked, bro. Do you want to do some fetching? Yep. All right. Godless Shrine Co. I'm not exactly putting you under any pressure from Blood Moon, anything like that. I think you'll be okay. No tech edge shenanigans. I do appreciate that you're running Elspeth Knight Errant in the Jace meta. It reminds me of old, old standard back when, uh... I missed the Jace race, but I played when Elspeth Knight Errant was around in standard, and... Elspeth apparently beat Jace. Jace was the much better card, but Elspeth won the, the matchup, all of the things being equal. Because while Jace is having to protect itself with an unsummon, Elspeth is going up to make another token every turn. If Jace wants to Fate Seal, Elspeth will win that race. If Jace brainstorms, Elspeth will win that race. But of course, you know, there's more context than just that other cards in the deck. Ooh, okay. Bitter Blossom's good. Yeah, with double predatory, I think I'm fine. I'll live, anyway. Hiya! Six. Gale Rider. Pass turn, pitch you a nine. Oh, you got it. <laughs> a Tinkerbell. Shoutouts to RK Post. These tokens. Ooh, Wrath. Oh, okay. Sorry. Fair enough. Make a dude. <laughs> or that. Alright, so it's just a 2 1. All my creatures are bigger than that. I think I'm okay. All my creatures are way bigger than that. Combat. Swing at you for technically lethal, but it's not actually going to be. Block the flyer. Okay. So, yeah, you'll gain two, go down eight. <laughs> so net minus six puts you three. All right. Cool. And then pass turn, Bitter Blossom puts you to two. Wrath of God or Damnation, whichever one. Wrath of God. There we go. Show me. Or that. I get him. I'm real good at guessing. Can you tell? So that's game? Because mine have flying and that doesn't. So even if you plus to make the fairy a 2-1 with lifelink. You'll gain 2, but take 16. That's net minus 14. Yeah. Oh, not, not 14, because there's no trample, actually. Yeah, net minus 10. 
Yeah. I'm sorry. This is this is a dumb deck that has hands like that sometimes. I mean, I guess it's cool that the deck can win off two lands. That's actually not all that uncommon, but it usually takes a gem hide sliver for us to do that, and we didn't get there. So I took out three striking slivers. I can still two sliver cycle up the last one if I need it, and it's not great in this match without a lot of creatures. One Gale Rider, flying is redundant. If I take out the one drops, it means I'm focusing less on the combo, which the combo requires dormant sliver, draw through your deck, so you're going to want to have a bunch of little one drops so that you are as mana efficient as possible when you're drawing through it. And I took out one fire wake as well. Again, redundant. As long as you have one, the extras don't do anything beyond that. So, homing sliver as a four of. It's actually in the sideboard, it's not in the main board. I've considered putting it in the main board. I haven't yet. Sliver Hive Lord. Don't wrath me, bro. <laughs> That's what that does. Uh, one Diffusion Sliver, actually. Just one. Three in the main, one in the side. Uh, if I think I need to shore myself up against removal spells. And one Harmonic Sliver I can tutor up. I can Sliver Cycle up if I need to. So there is one more Homing Sliver in here. Somewhere. Are you in my hand? Yeah, there you were. There you were, as my voice cracks. That's it. That's the one. Okay, so find whatever sliver I need. Wrath protection, spot removal protection, bitter blossom hate. And I, I often bring this in in a given match, just anticipating that there will be some hate cards to worry about, like, in, you know, whatever the case may be, ensnaring bridge or whatnot. Uh, if I don't know, it's safe enough to bring one in. Homing sliver can go and get it, and... There's only one as a potentially dead draw.